Hey guys, so today we learn how to optimize and complete your profile to make sure that you land your first client on Upwork. So a professional uh, profile is what will determine your success on Upwork actually. It is like your introduction to potential clients and gives you an opportunity to, to grab attention and also stand out from your competition. So making sure that your profile is completed and optimize will not only show the clients what they need the information that they need from you to know if they will hire you or not but it will also give upwork a chance to suggest uh, projects that are most relevant to you so when you come to upwork uh, and come to so upwork and then find work so you scroll down here to best matches these are the jobs that Upwork has selected for you, um, depending on what you search the most, number one, and also depending on your profile, the skills you have selected and the jobs that you have done. So that is what I mean by enabling Upwork to select projects that are most relevant to you. So by the end of this video, you should have a complete Upwork profile that is optimized and ready to land you those clients. So. It's going to be a long ride, so I suggest that you take some water or juice or wine, whichever you prefer, and uh, have a pen and a paper. So the first thing that you need to do is to choose your categories. Uh, choose the categories that are most relevant to your skills. So now, here I am on my Upwork profile. When you log into Upwork, this is where you should be. So to go to my profile, I will click my name or this photo. So I'll simply click here, then go to my profile. So now I want to choose categories. The, the categories are found under profile settings. So you come to profile settings, profile settings. requires me to re-enter my password okay so we are here I want to go down to categories yeah and the good thing about these things by the way you can always come back and edit when you change when you grow when you advance when you have um, uh, acquired different skills you can always come and change so under categories, this is what I have chosen. By the way, before I started freelancing, I was a customer service repre representative, sorry. So this is something that I can still do online. Admin support or virtual assistance, it is also something that I can do. Uh, however, I focus on article writing currently. So these are, these are the categories that I chose. So that is what you should choose, depending on your, on your skills, of course. You can also choose transcription if you're a transcriptionist or web design or uh, data entry, just anything. Okay, so after choosing the categories, you will go back. Go back to your homepage and then uh, set an hourly rate. This is where you will set your rate. Again, you can always come back and change. This hourly rate when you're starting out, guys, please uh, choose it or uh, put a hourly rate that uh, corresponds to your experience, to your experience and uh, skills. So just don't come here to and set $100 per hour when you're starting out. When I, when I was starting out, I started at 5 five dollars per hour right now i'm at thirty dollars per hour so make sure that you gauge yourself you can also google and uh, see what other people are charging what other newbies are charging on upwork so that you can have um, an idea of what to charge so come and uh, put your hourly rate there again you can always come and back come back and edit and then after that you choose your your skills. You 
just a minute yeah so you'll scroll down here when you when after after choosing your your hourly rate you'll expand uh, the overview section and then uh, come back down here these, these jobs are here because now I have already worked on them but now when your profile is uh, completely new you won't have this section here so you come down here to portfolio and then to skills now again you can always come and add or delete any so when you come to uh, skills you're supposed to choose them choose the skills that will help you find the clans that you want okay that means you you need to choose relevant skills according to your to what you want to find on upwork if it is a uh, article writing so like me these are the skills i have chosen copywriting content writing product description search engine optimization blah 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 so the many skills that you choose they're better for you choose at least 10 how many are mine? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you choose as many as possible. Make sure you choose them um, wisely. And they also need to reflect on your expertise and uh, specializations. Um, only list those skills that you can back up with the rest of your profile. Okay? Like your education, um, your certifications your work history so make sure you are choosing these skills according to what you can prove on your profile i hope i make sense and then uh number three or sorry number four uh upload a professional photo this is another area that uh, people don't pay attention to so much but it is very important so we go back up this is my professional photo again you can always come back and edit yeah so your profile um, your, pro your profile photo is how you present yourself to the world guys they say a picture is worth a, a thousand words so what does your profile picture say about you you need to think about that so it is true that uh, First impressions matter unfortunately or fortunately in today's world and someone will judge you actually according to just this tiny picture here when a client visits your your profile unfortunately they will first see your picture and uh, they will judge you according to it so make sure that when they look at it they feel like you're someone that they can work with so you need to portray friendliness and professionalism at the same time. So some of the, if I can just give you tips on how to take a professional photo, first make sure that uh, the background is plain. Mine is not plain, I need to improve on this. Uh, background should be plain with a, and uh, without so many decor decorations, like it shouldn't be too busy. It should be uncluttered, yeah. And then uh, good lighting is another thing. So find your best lighting, okay? So avoid direct sunlight, uh, look for natural light, avoid overhead light and uh, such things. And then simplify your background. I've said that it should be plain. And then uh, focus on your face, yeah? So make sure your face is looking directly to the ca into the camera and uh, make sure you capture the face more than any other part of the body so face and shoulders yeah yeah and, the, and also make sure you dress in a professional attire yeah don't go showing your cleavage if you want people to take you seriously yes so pro dress professionally and uh, don't forget the smile okay the smile is very important so that's it with the the photo the next thing that you want to do is to showcase your expertise in the title and overview. This is the title, guys. This place here. Again, people don't take it seriously, yet it is very important. When you appear in search, let's say, for example, a client is looking for expert SEO and blogs content writer, and then they land on my profile. The first thing that they will see is this. Okay. Other than the photo, they will see my title. Yeah this title should like explain everything that 
I do on Upwork or tell the client like everything they need to know about what I do. So like this one, I have said expert SEO and blogs, content writer, product descriptions, copywriter. So it's a summary of everything that I do on Upwork. That is the, the title. We move on to the overview section. So overview section is uh, the one down there. Also make sure that your title is uh, brief. Yeah, don't like like a whole paragraph because just uh, a little bit of it will show up in the in, in search. So make sure you are as brief as possible and then be specific about the services you offer. And then be unique. Don't go copying other people's uh, title. Um, search engines and even humans like unique things. So that is uh, another thing to consider and then uh, yeah let's go to overview overview in again uh, in search after this has shown only a little bit like 200 like 250 words is it 250 words will show uh, in your overview so make sure that the first few sentences are the it Make sure that there is a punch that you it's a punch line the, your first three sentences um, will make the client want to read the rest of your overview or to check out the rest of your profile okay so again make sure that whatever you say in this section can be backed up by of course your jobs your other jobs your certifications your level of educa your education and uh, all that and then another thing about overview, um, basically this is the time to brag a bit about what you can do, what you have done. Uh, you can see how I started mine. I started mine by uh, just putting out there the reviews from other clients. Excellent job during our on the job training, takes notes and applies to them, applies them to the future work, informative, interesting and well-written product reviews, promoting and hiring under a new contract. I believe if a uh, potential client sees this, they can see that uh, I'm someone who is going to deliver the job, just like I did for this client. So that is why I decided to put it as my first sentence. Yeah, so that's it. And then uh, from overview, we go to, what else, what else? We go to video introduction, yes. This one is not uh, mandatory, but, and again, it is uh, often ignored, <laughs> even by me, I haven't put an, a video introduction, but it can help set your profile apart from uh, the competition. So make sure you uh, put a um, small video introduction about yourself. Like I said, it's an optional section, but it can help you stand out. So have a great script that explains who you are, um, basically in your video and then your areas of expertise and the type of projects you want to work on. That's it about your video introduction. And then uh, we go down to to portfolio. Like I said, this, this, uh, this uh, section will not be there if you haven't written on Upwork before. So we go down to portfolio. So here you are supposed to highlight your best work, yeah. So and uh, the good thing about uh, this section is that you don't you don't just have to highlight what you have done on Upwork. Of course, you don't have any work history with Upwork, but you can also highlight what you have done somewhere else. So basically, you are supposed to uh, just highlight what the problem was, like what the client intended to achieve, if they wanted SEO articles written and then how you helped solve their problem yeah so you can see mine how bitcoin will affect the insurance industry let me just read it to you i did this a long time ago <laughs> by the way just when i was starting out on upwork transfer cri cryptocurrency website and requires informative articles to stamp their authority in the field so far so good so basically you you are supposed to uh describe what the client wanted and how you helped solve that problem 
you can put um, as many as possible again you can come here and uh, add more in the future after you have advanced of course uh, writing is something um, that you'll continue learning uh, from time to time you come here and uh, update the most recent ones so this section uh, allows you not just to tell but to actually show clients what you are capable of doing so make sure you put your the best your best pieces here okay so and then I, just something else if you are someone who has already chosen an, a niche although as a newbie i always uh, say that uh, maybe try the waters first yeah you can write as a general you can just be a general writer for some time before you now you uh, you decide to focus on a particular niche as you write a general uh, content you will be able to in the future to know which areas you are perfect in or which areas come naturally to you and you'll be able to focus in that area so let's say you have decided to 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 focus on um, technology or cryptocurrency niche so make sure this portfolio area has uh, articles that reflect your niche okay yeah so that is a uh, the portfolio section let us go down we go to certifications so again this is a uh, optional you can see that i haven't put any certificate <laughs> it is optional but it helps by the end of the day we want to you want to make your upper profile stand out what uh what other people are not doing maybe you need to do what other what most people are not doing so that you can um, so that you can be able to have higher chances of uh, landing that client so under certifications you are supposed to list certifications uh, that you have uh, you have acquired maybe in school or uh, just uh, during your writing writing experience some of the certificate like for example you can have uh, if you are a content writer you can have hubspot content marketing certification so that is how you'll come and uh, add here you can either add manually or add from credly so that's it about certification and then include employment history that is that is uh, so we come down here again now this also gives you an opportunity to link to places that you have written for before other than upwork so now I can you can see my employment history and then it is good it is a good thing if this employment history comes with a link so that now um, potential clients can be able to simply go and check out your work yeah so make sure that you can uh, back it up so the company is stockproducts.com I should have put here a description and even uh, put a link to to this to to the, to the to my work so these are my this this is my employment history a blogger at happy baby happy mommy medical research writer at Penster. of course i have written so many um, articles on ghostwriting basis so those ones i couldn't uh, mention them there but now the ones that i can prove that are mine of course i will uh, put it there so now that's it about uh, employment history. And of course, under employment history, you are supposed to put your, let me see. So the company is painster.com, location United States. Under this description, please describe what you did for that company. Don't be like me. <laughs> Make sure you describe what you, you 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 did for the company or what your role entailed. Yeah, that's it about uh, employment history. And then we come to other experiences. So other experiences are uh, the I, if you have any other experience, by the way, you just put there is no limitation you just put like for me i i i put this um i had uh, worked on freelancer.com so i put it there i had worked on uh, iwriter.com so i put it there 
the goal by the way is just to make sure that your your upper profile reads a hundred percent completeness so just make sure you try as much as possible to fill out these uh these areas and then we go to where do we go education education where's the education section so education is here make sure you uh, put your education educational background so you can see i put mine university of nairobi data attended uh, degree optional and then describe of course uh, describe it is a good thing if your degree <laughs> corresponds to uh, or relates with what you you are doing online not like me i did medical anthropology i don't know how that relates to content writing but if you have done for example you have majored in english or you have done creative writing the better for you by the way the better for you so you simply write the institution and then your degree and uh, that will be it if you have done any volunteer position by the way, under education you can add as many things as possible don't limit yourself to just uh, university you can also add uh, volunteer positions mentorship programs online courses anything that you have done especially if they are related to content writing or any other thing that you want to do on upwork and uh yeah that's it so we have uh, basically i think we have done everything of course verifications you'll verify your id and then you'll fill out the languages which you are fl fluent in you can always add so for me the one that is relevant to writing is uh, english but now we have uh, people who are fluent in german fluent in uh, french and all that so you indicate under languages so now i think we have uh, we have filled out every section of our profile and uh, the next thing to do is to review it so review it make sure that it reads well especially this section where you, where you have explained yourself make sure it is a uh, correct english make sure you have checked the dra the, <laughs> the grammar sorry make sure that uh, it's plagiarism free and all that because honestly speaking if a client came to your profile and saw that you you are writing your sentences are not even well structured the grammar is poor and all that what will make them hire you why would they hire you when they can the first impression is also is already spoiled so come back and uh, edit anything that you need to edit make sure that you have filled each and every other section you can also give it to your friend to counter check it for you also you can uh, check out other freelancers uh, web profiles and make sure just borrow borrow something i'm not saying that you are you go and uh, copy and paste everything by the way guys make sure that yours is unique i can't stress that enough make sure yours is unique especially this part this is the part that many most people tend to copy and paste please don't do that the client wants to um, have a taste of your voice have a test of uh, your quality so make sure you are giving them exactly what you can this section is giving them exactly what you can provide yeah so another thing that you can do is to read your profile out aloud to catch any errors it is always the best uh, the same way you will do with a with a job with an article is the same way you'll do with your profile so read it out aloud uh, and make sure that it doesn't have any errors before you publish so that's it guys i hope you have learned um, a thing or two i hope you'll give me testimonies of how you have uh, succeeded in landing that job on upwork comment down below and let me know which other topic you'd want me to talk about comment down below if you love this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys please it's two percent of those who are watching me have not subscribed i don't know why it doesn't cost you a thing to do that please click the red button share me out to as many people as uh, to mm, as many people as possible so that uh, people who need this kind of content can find it thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one
Bye.